most rackets we string will have us skip certain main grommets. Uh, in other words, we don't string every grommet in a row. Uh, there will be a few, usually, that we skip. In some rackets, you actually will share grommets between crosses and mains. Uh, but most rackets, you will skip uh, one or, or two main grommets. Uh, one way to know which ones to skip, you can simply look at a, a racket that's already been strung correctly. Uh, so if you look at the racket that's been strung, you can just grab a pen and paper and, and make a note of it. Uh, in this case, this particular racket, if you look, we can count the throat grommets uh, of the racket. And how you want to count the grommets is you start in the middle of the racket, so the center middle, and you count out. So the first grommet on each side will be grommet 1, and then it's grommet 2, and then got grommet 3, working our way outside, and you just continue counting grommets. And if you notice in this case, grommets 7 and 9 on the throat are skipped. And this racket's been strung correctly, so we know when we restring this racket, we will skip the 7 and 9 grommet on this racket for the mains on the throat. Uh, keep in mind the throat and the head grommets, it's not always the exact same. Some rackets you'll skip uh, different grommets on the throat than you will on the head. So when we string this racket, we need to make sure to leave 7 and 9 on the throat unstrung because those will be used for cross strings rather than main strings. Now we can do the same thing to the head of the racket. Start in the center of the racket and count outwards. So it's grommet 1, grommet 2, all the way out. And if you notice in this racket it's actually the same as the throat. The 7 and the 9 we're going to skip because those will be used for cross strings. So in this racket we know when we string it when we do the mains we need to skip the 7 and 9 on the throat and the head. Those need to be blank because we will be using those for cross strings. There's a few other ways to know which grommets to skip uh, should the racket not already be strung. You can simply buy a Stringer's Digest online. Uh, that's what I use. It's what most professional stringers use where you can simply just look up the racket model and it tells you which grommets to skip for the mains. Another way, a simple Google search. Look online for your racket model. A lot of the main tennis websites will sh have how the racket should be strung and what grommets to skip. Another very simple way is to look at the angle of the grommets. Uh, sometimes just looking at a racket that's been strung before, the cross strings will be angled horizontally. So you'll know that grommet will be a cross grommet rather than a main string grommet. A very important point is to just count the main strings. So if the racket is a 16 by 19, that means there's 16 main strings. So we know there's going to be 8 strings on each side of the racket. If you're stringing a racket and have nine strings on each side, well, that's going to be 18 main strings. And we know that the racket is a 16 by 19, so there should only be eight on each side. So make sure you know what the stringing pattern of the racket is. And also, last but not least, the look test. I've strung a racket before where I, I thought I had the grommet strung correctly. This is before I tied it off. Uh, but it, you could tell it was a little bit off. Like, it was a little bit too thin the spacing between the two last main strings or the spacing was a little bit too much. In that case if it doesn't pass the look test you've probably done it wrong. The racket companies make it so those main strings should be uh, pretty symmetrical and look pretty clean. So if you've strung a racket and uh, there's main strings that are close together or main strings that are far apart you know you, you've strung it incorrectly. And that is how you know what grommets to skip when you're stringing the main string. Mm -hmm.